I'm just gonna keep eating this cookie, don't mind me. Happy Friday, guys. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Life Above the Clouds. My name is Lauren Gaw, and this week we are making some oatmeal raisin cookies. So let's go over our ingredients. This is half a cup of butter total because we're making 12 cookies. I am substituting one tablespoon of cannabis butter. This is one and a half cup of old fashioned rolled oats. Three quarters cups of flour. I also have half a cup of brown sugar and two tablespoons of regular granulated sugar. Half a cup of raisins. One half tablespoon of vanilla extract. One egg one half tablespoon of molasses. This is what's gonna give these oatmeal cookies this nice, warm, rich flavor, as well as the cinnamon that I have in here. Three quarters teaspoons of ground cinnamon. I also have one quarter teaspoon of salt and one half teaspoon of baking soda in here. Always the first thing that we do is whisk together our dry ingredients. So I have a medium sized mixing bowl here. I have my whisk and we are going to add together flour and our baking soda, salt, and cinnamon. We're gonna save the oats for later. I'm just gonna whisk this together, make sure it's well combined, there's no big lumps, and then we're gonna set that aside. And then in my larger bowl, we are going to beat together our butters and our sugars. Okay, now that I have my butters and my sugars whipped up, it's nice and smooth. I'm going to add my egg, mix that in a little bit, and then I'm also gonna add in my vanilla extract, and then I'm also going to add in my molasses. So now I'm going to add in my flour mixture. This is so easy. Here's my oats and my raisins. Sometimes when you get raisins out of the box, they're kind of stuck together. So you do want to kind of break those apart. So using the mixer on low speed, we're just going to combine everything. Now if you aren't on the oatmeal raisin train, you could also substitute the raisins in this recipe for chocolate chips. And oatmeal chocolate chip cookies are awesome. And I'm gonna use my spatula to scrape the sides of the bowl and finish combining everything. Guys, our cookie dough is already ready. Now, we do have to do the necessary step of chilling our dough. This is one of those steps that I always feel is really stupid and I always want to skip it, but I've tried it and for this one, you can't skip it, sorry. You can either chill the dough now in the bowl and then scoop it after it's done or Something that I like to do is scoop these out. You don't have to worry about spacing because we're not going to bake it on this mat. And then put this in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Or you can put these in the freezer just like this and then when they're hard enough, just take them with your hands and put them in a plastic resealable bag, write what's in it, write the date, and then whenever you want a fresh cookie, two fresh cookies, you can just pull out what you want, put it on a baking tray, and either put that directly into the oven and cook it for a few extra minutes, or let it thaw out for about 30 minutes and then put it in the oven for 350 degrees for 12 to 14 minutes. So here are our finished cookies. You can see that the tops are still slightly shiny and it may look underdone, in a lot of cases it is, but you wanna err on the side of underdone because that's what's gonna keep these cookies nice and chewy. They are just getting slightly golden around the edges and that this is perfect. Do you wanna let these cool for about five minutes or until you can take a spatula and carefully lift them off and then let them cool on a cooling rack? You can smell the cinnamon. I also put cinnamon in my chocolate chip cookies. It kind of adds a little something special. But these cookies have both cinnamon and molasses, so it makes them so rich. And like I said before, they're so chewy and they just feel like grandma's house. In my <laughs> the image that I'm actually getting is if you ever watch SpongeBob SquarePants and he goes to his grandma's house and she always makes some cookies, that's what I think grandmas are supposed to be like in my head. Oh, it's so hot. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mm. Is there anything better than a warm cookie fresh out of the oven? 
but it's so good. It's so warm and it's so chewy and the edges, I like to take them out when they're just starting to turn golden brown so they don't really get crispy. This is just an all over chewy cookie. Thank you much, thank you much. Thank you so much for joining me this week. We made oatmeal raisin cookies. Go subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. Share it with all of your friends. Go check out my Patreon. Go follow me on social media. Have a safe and happy week and I will see you guys next Friday. Thanks again for watching. Mwah.